Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Right, today we've got the map I fancy taking a chance on. Sorry on the workshop, very nice thumbnail, very beautiful part of the world indeed. National Park in that part of the world, which makes it even more beautiful. And the description speaks of a beautiful beaches and it's just a, a fantastic, uh, just a fantastic idea for a map. So I'm all for that. They even go to the effort of talking about needing the 81 tile mod because of the way that map has to be played. I'm thinking this is a creator who has put some thought into it, which I thought was a little bit surprising when you consider. It's my first map. That's right. Now, as it's a first map, there are likely to be a few minor or not so minor issues with the map. Uh, when you see them, remember, find something positive to say and be kind in the comments. But before we get on and be kind, how about you be kind to me instead? <laughs> That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map, with the thumbnail taken at night, is Brajuni National Park by Nice to PQ to PQ Nice. <laughs> ah, the Brits will know what I'm talking about there. Yes, uh, there's your start square there. So yes, we've, uh, we've got an island, it's not connected to the mainland, you're going to be using shipping or the 81 tile mod, of course. Uh, there's your uh, terrain heights, it's fairly flat, fairly flat, a few minor bumps here and there. Uh, offshore uh, oil and ore and fertile land on the mainland and lots of forestry, lots of forestry. And if you've got Santa Harbour and you want to do some fishing, your fishing map looks quite interesting actually. I like what you've done there. Okay, off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, no DLC required today. We'll be using the SCT Homecoming theme with the realistic 1.2 LUT. And yes, you do need the 81 tile mod. And maybe something else which you're going to see because there's stunning beaches and dense forests and when they say dense forests they're not joking now the dense forests are very clearly on the roads here now um this is of course proper anarchy where i always allow for the trees that are underneath the road to show through so we can see just how many there are and anybody who's detailing and deliberately putting trees under the road that they want to show through will always show through because these are part of the tree count and I'm going to tell you the tree count is just a little bit over the 262,000 that the vanilla game requires you to have. Uh, about 10 times that amount. <laughs> I mean, it's substantially more than the, the uh, limit. So you're going to need the unlimited tree mod or more likely in the current state of affairs, tree anarchy. Um, I don't know which, for certain, I'm running Tree Anarchy and all the trees are there, so I'd say that's good. Unlimited Tree Mod might still work, maybe, depending on what the creator used in the actual building of the map. So yes, um, if without uh, Tree Anarchy, then you're going to have all, yeah, you're gonna have clear roads. Don't worry about all these trees on the roads. They will not be there, just depending on your Anarchy settings. If you don't have Anarchy at all, they won't be on the roads at all, which is definitely a positive. Because you'd be able to see <laughs> where your roads are for starters. Right, anyway, um, we've got road and rail. Uh, the the uh, road is uh, three ways coming in from the left, from the right and from the top. Uh, all hitting the uh, cloverleaf intersection right there. Um, yeah, that's perfectly fine, that clover leaf. And then if we were to take the exit here, <laughs> if we could find the exit here, we go for a slight clearing. That's going to come in handy, very useful space later on because, well, when we do the asset review, I need some space for the asset. We'll use that spot there, even though it's not in the start square, right? Anyway, and uh, that exit does lead down to your start square. And then we'll have a look at the rail, which is elevated. So we'll be able to follow it just a little bit more easily than we did with the highway. So yeah, um, it's it's got some problems this map and we're gonna find a few more. So I'm here to educate. The thing is, if you, if you like what you're seeing here, 
With my information, you can go in pre-armed and have a really good city build on it. So this, that there are always positives to say, and I think that's the most positive thing I might have to say today. Uh, right, we'll take a short intermission. Be right back after this. Are you confused with the difference between a mod and an asset? And what's the deal between a theme and a lot? Then you need Bon Bon B's Beginner's Guide to Mods, Assets, Themes, and LUTs. Click the information button now. And so uh, back to the shipping routes at Prajuni National Park by Nice to PQ. And we have a shipping route that runs along the outside of the islands and a separate shipping route that runs along the inside of the islands, meaning that you can get ships around all sides of those islands that's actually a very good thing then we have air routes as well remember we have airports dlc now so there's nice we have air, air routes we have this one and it hang on there's that a right angle turning there so we've got potential for sharp turning airplanes going on here and then even worse we've got a real acute turning there now of course you won't really notice because they're up in the air but uh, even so a, a slick moves would be nice a uh, water flow we've got no water flow in the start square but there is sufficient space around here to probably distance your pumping from your drawing if that's the way that you like to play city skylines so it, it's a, i'd like to see some moving water there right okay so let's have a look so the national park is beautiful in real life and it's got some stunning beaches and they they tell us about stunning beaches in the description let's have a look at these stunning beaches um well the stunning beaches seem to be hidden beneath trees many of which have gone for a little paddle yeah they're wearing their trunks that's right yeah a few drowned trees for those of you that are playing bon bon bingo so that's one to check off maybe um so yes uh there's a lot of trees that uh just got their feet in the water which makes me think of something and looking here actually have a look here we've got a whole line of trees here you can it's almost like the coast is in the wrong place maybe the water level is too high maybe a couple of islands there maybe it's too, there's something else that makes me think the water level might be too high the sea level this is and that is over here now, it looks like marshland, doesn't it? I'm going to tell you this is not marshland. So this is dry land in real life. And again, all of this, all of this is underwater. I reckon we need to play about with the sea level and just see by if by shifting the sea level, whether we get some really nice... Maybe the beaches are just hidden under 10 metres of water. That's probably what it is, I'm hoping. Right, so what we'll do is we'll drop the sea level blimey it, it's all or nothing it's all or nothing um right let me get right down here see if i can find you oh we got we have got a little bit of water there oh, crumbs okay that's about the best i'm gonna do i think is that filling come on come on i'm i, I am going to get this thing to fill in a minute no, it's not working. Let's have a look. Yep, we have water out here. So basically, the water is too shallow to have depth, but not deep enough to... Yeah, we, we've still got... Even even now, we've still got uh, trees in the water. Oh, my goodness me. Um, all right, so that's not going to work. We're not going to end up with... Um, we're not going to end up with stunning beaches. I wanted the stunning beaches... Well, here, here, here's the um, the stunning beaches. Oh, and it's just the the water is glitching. It's so shallow; it doesn't know what to do. It just doesn't know what to do. Poor water. I mean, this is oh blimey, it's gone again. Uh, this is pushing the game mechanics to the limit. Yeah, we um, we need some depth. We need some depth. I think we're going to need to have to bring the uh, water level back up if I can get it to back up because. I only want about two meters of water just so that we can to are we there are you gonna fill back in come on game we'll try that again about two meters come on about there come on have you done it 
Yes, we have. We've got it. We have water again. Right, so um, <laughs> we'll just have to accept that this is the best the map is going to look and maybe remove all of the trees that are under the water with the bulldozer or move it or I mean whatever your whatever your preference is tree brush use a use that for bulldozing and just to clean up the beaches but uh yeah I I'm I'm a little bit a little bit sad by this but I'm not sad about the asset of the day because this really fits with a Croatian build yes it's our Croatian asset <laughs> Called the JP Japanese Apartment A <laughs> by Azarashikun, which is apparently something close to Japanese for seal. Uh, I'm sure it is exactly seal, but not the way that I pronounced it. I'll do my best. <laughs> factoids, because factoids. Right, the uh, Brijuni Islands, what we've been looking at, are a group of 14 small islands in the Croatian part of the northern Adriatic Sea. The islands used to belong to Venice from the Middle Ages and stone from the islands was used to build the palaces and bridges of the city. So, uh, so yes, I mean, having gone down in Google Earth and had a look at the islands in Google Earth, there are definitely some well-loved quarries on those beautiful, beautiful islands. But they are beautiful. They are definitely beautiful and uh, I would say I wouldn't mind going there on holiday. I wouldn't mind. Somebody wants to pay for me and maybe run my show for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Guest presenter. Get Biffer on. He's got nothing better to do, has he? <laughs> Constantly pumping out more, more content than I can. Uh, JP Apartment A by Azarashikun. Azarashikun. That's the one. Uh, Seal. We'll call him Seal. Ah, kiss from a rose, eh? Anyway, um, what do you think of today's map? Go on, be honest with the votes, but be kind in the comments. Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count music. At the end of the month for the viewers' choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen, or the link in the description will take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple, or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, um, aesthetically, I think it kind of looks like the area. But I am, uh, while I'm impressed by the number of trees, remember, most of those won't be there because we have to assume that we don't have any form of tree anarchy or unlimited tree mod because it's not listed. Uh, and we don't have those stunning beaches, which is what it's all about. I've, I've got to go low too. Detailing. There's some really lovely feature areas around here and we haven't included any of them. The only reason why I'm not going one star for detailing is because we've got a rough approximation of the map so it's recognisable. I'm going two stars low. Gameplay. Well, let's give benefit of the doubt, shall we? Because the 81 tile mods listed it would work but there's so much to fix I've got to go middle to. I wanted to be more generous. Uh, Brijuni National Park by Nice to PQ. Uh, to PQ Nice. It's um, it's one of those maps that I guess why the show exists is going to suit for somebody. Somebody's out there is going to love it. Somebody, may, maybe two people will love it, and maybe they will find it through this show. Um, it'll only take you uh, like a, a few minutes, or maybe a second or so to uh, watch the show. But maybe you'll find the map. Anyway, if you're still here, you're part of the 20 and out league. Use the word of the day, you know what to do. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. And it might be a bit more polished than today's.